So you go out to take some photography of some buildings, and when you get back, you find that the lines aren't quite right. So what's up with that? I'm gonna take you through the Guided Upright tool in Lightroom, and I'll show you how to straighten all of this out. Hey guys, I'm Ken Mostock of Ken Mostock Photography. Thank you for joining me for another tutorial. Today I'm coming to you from my home office because it's currently minus one degrees outside in Colorado. I'm not going out in that. So what I thought I would do today is take you through Lightroom and take you into the transform panel to use the guided upright tool. A client has asked me to go out to one of their warehouses to take some photo. And while I do all kinds of photography, architectural photography is a little bit different. There are a lot of little nuances that you really have to pay attention to, like getting straight vertical lines up and down, even across. Now I know quite a bit about Lightroom and the tools that come with it. However, I never really explored the, the transform panel that much. I know that you can do all kinds of little alterations with it, but when it comes to architectural photography, it's amazing. So I just wanted to do a quick little video here to show you about this tool and to just kind of walk you through it a little bit. And also, before you start critiquing this photo, this is straight out of the camera. I haven't edited this photo at all, not for color or anything. So please go easy on me. I don't really need to do that for this demonstration, that's why I have it. This is straight out of the camera. So here we are in Lightroom, and I'm in the develop module for this photo right here. Now over here on the right, you have all of your basic tools, you know, basic for your color correction, uh, all, of, all of these options. I have not done any of these as I have said. But what we're going to do first is we're going to go down to our lens corrections panel. Okay, neither one of these is clicked and we do want to click on both of these. So you want to click on your remove chrom chromatic aberration, <laughs> easy to say, right? And then your enable your profile corrections. You do want to click that on and when you do, you notice that that does flatten out the image a little bit more. What the computer is doing is finding your lens that you took this photo on and just kind of helping you out, taking some of the vignetting out and making it a little bit straighter. At this point, we're done with the lens corrections and we're going to open up the transform tool. Now under the transform tool, there are many different options. There's auto, guided, level, vertical, and full. Plus down under there, you have all of these slider bars that will help you as well. Now a lot of times, the first thing that I'll do is click on auto and let the computer try to figure out what is straight and what isn't straight and how this photo should look. But it doesn't always work. In this case, I'm going to click on auto and let the computer do its work. It tries to straighten out what it thinks should be straight, but it also looks really strange. So now the lines that are on the edges of the image are really kind of wonky and not straight at all. It's straightened out the middle, but everything else looks kind of strange. Over here on the left side, if you look down on the edge of the building, it almost feels like it's leaning out toward the parking lot. So what we're going to do is turn that off and it will return the photo back the way it was. What we want is the guided upright tool, which is right here. Now there's also an icon right up here in the corner, which does the same thing. So you can click on either one of these. It doesn't really matter. Using the guided tool is kind of like doing this in manual mode. You're going to tell it what points and what lines you want to be perfectly straight and then the computer will figure it out from there. Okay, so I'm going to click on this little icon right here. You can do guided as well. And when we come over into the photo, you're going to find little crosshairs and then you'll find an overlay, which is going to help you get very detailed about where you want to put your points. Now you have to select two different lines in order for the computer to have something to compare with and to work on the photo. I'm going to go ahead and go on the outside of the building, kind of over here and take this straight edge here. And then I'm gonna come back in here and take one of these straight edges uh, on this side of the photo. I just think that that gives it a better representation of the entire photo to try to straighten this out. I'm going to come right up here. First of all, I'm gonna put my cursor right on that corner and that overlay is awesome because it really shows you right where you wanna be. You click and you drag and you just drag down the line of the building and you let go right there. And now you've created this line that it 
that you want to have perfectly straight. But like I said, you have to have two lines. You have to have two things for the computer to compare. So now I'm going to come, let's come down to this corner down here on this part of this building. I'm going to click right on the corner there and then click and drag while holding and down to the bottom right there and let go. And when I do that, the computer then takes the dimensions from those two lines that you want straight and warps the photo to make sure that those lines are straight as is everything else in relation to those lines. Now, obviously this looks a little weird. One, we've cut off the top of the building, which is definitely not what we want. Here's a tip for you, which obviously I didn't pay attention to as well. Try to take your photos a lot wider than you normally would. I like to compose my photos in camera as I'm, as I'm shooting. Of course, it looks great. But if you're in a case where you know that you're probably going to have to straighten your lines, you're doing real estate photography, architecture photography, um, even, even artistic kind of photography where you want everything to be nice and straight, try to shoot really wide. Try to shoot much wider than you normally would. That's going to allow your computer more space to be able to adjust and tweak the photo because what it's doing is it's actually tilting the photo back and forward and side by side just to make it make sure that those are straight. So now I have a couple of options that I can do. I can come over here to the right side under the transform panel and I can now use these little sliders to help me try to, to try to bring that corner back in. Now in this case, if I use scale and I scale back so that I get that corner in there. Let's say like I go to uh, 88, 90, somewhere in there. Okay. Now, obviously I've got the corner back in my shot, but I have some other problems as well. Now at the very top of my photo, I've got, I've got some white going on here and down in the corners, I've got, you know, these pieces of white here as well. Now I have a couple of options. I can take this into Photoshop and I can, take care of that rather easily. Or I can also just do a simple crop on this photo, depending on how much you want to do. So if I just crop this image and just bring it in, just like that, so I get rid of those two little white pieces and then bring that down just to the very top of the image, maybe even bring the bottom up just a bit so just to balance it out and hit done. There I have my photo, my lines are straight, and now I can go ahead and do all my color corrections, sharpening, all of the other stuff that I need to do to make this photo finished. Okay, so now I just wanna show you one more photo. This one is taken from a different angle. And of course you can see where it's, it's not perfectly straight. I mean, on my tripod, it's straight when I took the photo, but obviously all of the lines and the angles really don't make it look that straight. And again, this is straight out of the camera. I haven't done any corrections on this yet. So again, we're gonna come over here to the right side in Lightroom. We're gonna to go to Lens Corrections and we're gonna make sure that both of these are clicked. Then come down here to your, uh, to your up, upright tool. We're gonna to go to Guided. Again, you're gonna come over here. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select my verticals here and over here, but I'm also going to do my horizontals in this as well, and you're really gonna see a change in this. So vertical, let's go here, and we're gonna click and drag all the way down to the bottom, to here, let go. And then we're, let's come to this one right here, click, all the way down to the bottom, and let go. And now you can see that it's aligned it for vertical. But now let's do some horizontal as well. We've got a line that comes all the way along the bottom and then we've got a line that comes along the top and let's see what that does. So if we go ahead and let's say, let's take this one here. So we're gonna go from this corner and we're gonna go over to this corner. Okay, close enough, like that. Okay, it's already adjusted it for the vertical lines your one horizontal line. So now we need another one at the bottom. Otherwise it won't be straight. And let's actually, let's actually go to this one here because I have a longer sample size. So we're gonna go to here. 
and now it has adjusted my photo. It actually has even moved my camera a little bit, made it feel like I've moved. Now obviously up here in the top left, I have a, a large white area that needs to be taken care of. And that can easily be done in Photoshop, um, content aware fill, you can do that. Um, if you, I probably would do some sky replacement in this in, in Photoshop as well. But you can see how it has also straightened out my image and made it very straight, very lined up. And it looks so much better than it did in the original, which was here. I mean, look at the difference in that. It's amazing. So those are just a couple of examples of how to use the guided upright tool in Lightroom. I really thank you for joining me. I really hope that this helps you out. Again, pay attention when you know that you're going to be doing this in Lightroom. Allow for more space in your photographs when you're out taking photos. That will really help you out and save you a lot of time. If you found this video useful, and I really hope you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. Please like this video and share it with anybody else who may need to know this technique. I didn't know this technique before either. And once I started doing some real estate and architectural photography, I found this by doing YouTube searches and it's really saved the day for me. So I wanted to pass this along with you in the hopes that I can help somebody else out. And if you have any tips or tricks on how to use the guided upright tool or anything else in Lightroom, shoot me a comment down below. I'd love to hear about it. I'm always learning just like you are. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.